Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Tuesday, July 9th, 2019. It is 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in Rochester, New York. Um, instead of talking about schizophrenia today, I'm going to talk about a completely different subject, and it kind of pisses me off. And I wanted to talk about vaccines for like measles, chicken pox, the flu, um, mumps, rubella, polio, all of those good things. Um, I was just watching a video by Pastor Stephen Anderson. His um, YouTube name is um, Sanderson1611. I'm not going to bother to put a link in the description to his uh, videos because he's such an idiot and unscientific. But he just did a two-minute video saying that uh, vaccines for the diseases I just mentioned and other diseases cause autism. And somebody else in the comment section says they cause cancer. There are no peer-reviewed studies, scientifically done studies, that suggest that vaccines cause autism because they don't. Vaccines don't cause cancer. There's no peer-reviewed scientific studies that says vaccines cause cancer. Peer-reviewed studies are the gold standard in scientific research. Science is always checking itself to see if something is false that they previously thought was true. And that process is using scientists looking at other scientists' work to look for mistakes and come up with new conclusions. And that standard is called peer review or peer review document or magazine or document is when one scientist reproduces experiments or reproduces a study that another scientist had already done and came out with certain conclusions to prove or disprove the original study. So you always have scientists checking other scientists' work, always looking for the truth. Because science doesn't know everything. That's the beauty of science. Science is when you're always discovering something new. And there will always be something new to discover in science. Because unlike religion, science doesn't claim to know everything. But anyways, there's no peer review studies that suggest vaccines cause autism, cancer, or any other disorder like that. It just isn't there. And if you believe that vaccines cause autism and you don't get your children vaccinated and they get sick, you have no sympathy from me. Especially if your sick child gets my child sick before I have a chance to vaccinate my child. Pastor Steve Anderson has eight children. And going by the two-minute video he put on his channel, I'm assuming that none of his eight or nine children are vaccinated. And if one of them gets sick with measles, there's a good chance the other seven or eight are also going to get measles because they all live in the same house. So Anderson is really a child abuser of his own children. He refuses to give them full protection for healthy lives. If they come down with measles, it's his fault, not theirs. And the mother's fault as well. Stephen Anderson is an idiot. He's the pastor for some independent Baptist church. I don't remember the exact name of it. Um, but he's a moron. And if you want to check out his channel, like I said, I'm not going to give him the dignity of putting a link to his channel in my description. But his YouTube name is Sanderson1611. S-A-N-D-E-R-O-S-O-N-1611. That's his name. And you could watch his stupid videos all you want. But he's an asshole. And he doesn't know science. He doesn't know anything about science. And of course, he completely ignores that science in the Western world, at least, has made the average lifespan in the 1830s go from about 30 years old to almost 70 to 90 years old for both male and female in the Western industrialized world. It's funny how people like to gloss over the benefits of science and try to blame in science for things that aren't scientifically true.